Now at this point in time, I'm about eight months out of the suburbs and my construction skills are still not very good. But it's time for our first reasonably sized construction project here on the farm. We need to build that little corral for our cows so that they have a place to be immobilized so we can inspect them in the future, so that they can be vaccinated in the future. And it's also gonna serve as a kind of a loading station where new cows can come in and cows that we need to offload can come off the property. So it's gonna be an integral part of our operation here. I've got all the materials that we need to get started, not necessarily finish it, but to do the first opening parts of this project. And we're gonna get started today. Come on, let's go. So we're here on the scene, if you will. This is our gate. Now, when we moved here, this gate was here and it's not necessarily in disrepair, but it is pretty rusty. Um, so I definitely need to come out here and hit this with some sandpaper and repaint it. And I'll definitely do that at some point in the near future, but that day's probably not today. Now, our main issue with this existing gate, I'm gonna reuse it, but our main issue that we're having here is this hole has just widened over the years. And as you can see, it pops right out right now. So the gate isn't really staying in the wood. That wood is really cracked and old. So this whole post has to come out. We're gonna go ahead and concrete in a new post and get this gate set up better so that it's not popping out all the time. in the hole because the new one coming in was quite a bit wider in diameter. Now that the post was in place and we made sure that it was level, it was time to add the concrete. We had replaced that first post and so far everything was good, but in order to go much farther and start getting this cattle pen together, I had to go get my old man. I'm just gonna go a little bit there like that. We just went out and bought the brand new high-powered uh, Ry Ryobi uh, drill. Um, this is one of the stronger drills that they have. And I'll tell you, this stuff, dead on. Dead on every time. All right, so that's all I want to do right there. Why don't you hand me that post? Father now here and given a helping hand, it was time to get ready for the big portion of today's project, which was getting the two side gates together, which would serve as permanent fixed walls for both sides of the cattle pen. We would start with these hinges.
What are you doing? If you look, I'm using the leverage of the tool instead of you trying to gorilla it. <laughs> if you're not a gorilla, why are you working so hard? See? Oh, look at that. <laughs> See, Dad? Oh, <laughs> gates now on the hinges it was time to get another post in place so that we could go ahead and anchor in that first gate firmly into position and start thinking about hanging our red gate back up which would be in the center of the caliper. firmly fixed into place, it was time to start drilling the holes and getting ready to have our middle red gate attached. And finally, last but not least, with our red gate back on the hinges, we had to dig our final fence post so that we could affix the other side wall panel gate permanently in place. So there's just a few last steps to go. We gotta staple on some of this fence onto this post here. But more or less, we're about halfway done with this little cattle pen. You can kind of see how it's gonna work. So that gate right there is gonna be a middle divider gate. The whole pen is basically two 10 by 12 squares. So you have a 10 by 12 square here. And in the future, a couple weeks from now, my father and I are gonna put another 10 by 12 square in the front there. So you can get an animal in here. We'll have like a four foot trough right here to get them accustomed to being inside. They'll come in and you can close the gate behind them and then they can get their vaccinations or they can be shipped off, whatever they need. So we're gonna have to get another 10 foot gate to put right here in the front. And then we'll do two more 12 foot gates in the back, another 10 foot gate back there. And the whole thing will basically be like two rectangular pens, but this is the first one just about finished. So. Thank you for helping me today. I appreciate your help. Thank you, thank you for doing most of the work today. I appreciate your help. I'd just like to thank you for filming this because that's all you really did today. I tightened the bolts you... with the wrench. While I held the I thing. And I dug the post holes. And now I know how to mix concrete. <laughs> and you know how to put posts in. And you know how to tighten screws. And you learned how to put in uh, a gate. 
And you, what else did you learn? I learned a lot of valuable you, skills. Because you did a lot of watching. Thank you, I appreciate your help. And look at that, guys. The cattle pen, halfway done, halfway done. We've still got the other rectangular segment to build. We'll probably do that in, in, in one or two weeks here. But not bad, not bad. We've got a small operation here. It's not like we have 30, 40 animals. So it's not like we need to fit a whole ton. And I think when we have these two 12 by 10 segments, there'll be more than enough for us to offload or unload the cattle that we do have. Hey, thanks for cleaning up. Too. <laughs> Guys, there you have it, some small progress on our small farm for our small cattle pen. But I'm proud of the work that my father and I did today. I'm very grateful and blessed for his help. And uh, yeah, a week or two from now, we'll be coming out here and finishing the other half of this pen so that it has two separate little paddocks so we can control which cow is in which section. And we'll be able to give vaccinations, we'll be able to inspect them if there's ever a health issue, and we'll be able to unload and offload cattle here. guys. God bless you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Consider giving it a subscription. It appreciate We appreciate it out here. And uh, I'll see you guys again very soon. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.